I'm in New York City with Bobby Lapone and Bernie Telsey. We met back at Shake Leg. And you know what, can we back up just a little bit? Because I feel like I haven't given you guys quite enough of an introduction because coming up to Shake Leg, you came up and worked with a bunch of people in wheelchairs. But you guys are big within within the industry. Can I get you, I know you didn't, sure. you didn't sign up for this, to give me a little bit of a bio. Little um, bit. Okay. I was an actor. I still act every now and then. I also was a ballet dancer. Once an actor, always, always an actor. Always an actor. Right? I was a ballet dancer at Juilliard, and then I uh, became an actor, and then I met Bernie Telsey in 1981 and became an acting teacher with him. And then all of a sudden, in like 83, he wanted to form a theater company, which I was not interested in at all. And, um, <laughs> he, and because I, I love this guy so much, and we're such good friends, he sort of convinced me that I did something that I wanted to do. And so yeah. convinced you that it was something you wanted to do. Exactly. That's a good idea. That's pretty much our That's relationship. That's pretty good. <laughs> and so in eighty three we went uh, eighty six we went into a nonprofit organization called OCC Theater and we're still doing it. Thirty one years later. Yeah. Wow. We're just moving into our new space. home. Yeah. Yeah. That the uh, New York City is building for us. So we move in in November. That sounds so, great. Awesome. Yeah, it's a whole complex on fifty second and ten. That sounds great. Good. You want me to go? Yeah, yeah. You can and do that then, so, that yeah, Bob played the same thing. And I've, uh, besides running the theater company with Bobby since the 80s, I've been working as a casting director, casting Broadway shows and movies and television. Do you want to give us some um, of the high points? Of uh, some of the stuff that's out now that we cast, we cast the NBC show This Is Us, okay. which is a big hit television show. And a uh, recent movie we did was The Greatest Showman. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary Poppins Returns, which comes out this fall, and uh, a bunch of the Broadway shows like Wicked, Hairspray, and Hamilton is the present big one. I think I've heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. I imagine yeah. you're going to see it this weekend. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> so looking forward to it. So when you guys came to Shake Leg, you took over. Like, I, I, I was at Shake Leg, and I figured, I'm going to Shake Leg, I'm rolling in, I'm walking out, and then I'm going to be done with this life. And, and you guys showed up at the end of the summer and totally took over and brought an entirely different energy. Remember, Bernie, at that point you had like, a, you, you were wearing like a scarf tied around your neck or something like that. And I was like, I'm not sure what this whole New York acting thing is all about. And he said, well, you need, to, you need to audition for this play. And what did I tell you? No. <laughs> no interest. <laughs> no, I'm not here for that. <laughs> I'm not here for that. I don't get my physical therapy and I'm out the door. <laughs> I don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it was the greatest thing that I've done because it was all about uh, it was all about one saying yes, which incidentally then you guys brought us to this whole idea of improv where the yes and dancing and dancing. singing. Dancing and singing. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. All and then we brought to all of this stuff and it was amazing. But uh, I looked at it. what what brought you guys up because how did how did this all happen? In the Morgan beginning? Barnes was a playwright who was okay. doing that play. She did that play. She, she wrote, wrote that, that play, play and she called me. I knew her at that time. She well, called before the play with Chris. Chris. You went out the year before, and that was the monologue. Was the first year. Oh, well, so you went out for the four days. Oh. That's when he called me. Is that when I came up? With yeah, I think so. Bernie was just telling me the story this morning. I thought no, I thought, thought that was the Morgan Barnes was the first. Yes, and then the second year we asked her to actually write the play. I see. Yes, we're in exactly. control with her from the beginning yes. of the work. Yes, exactly. exactly. But the first year you just went up for a weekend. And, and you had no idea. I, no, I, wasn't, there. I, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Wasn't there. there. No, was I was still walking at that point. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I guess and then I just went up. How did I get up there? Because you went <laughs> because Maureen's an old, old friend. Friend. And she was like, I never heard of her in our friendship. Right, exactly. But she, like, I always say about you, she asked you to come up and help her with a theatrical thing for a weekend in Newport, and you said, okay. Yeah. I never asked any questions of what right. it was. Well, All I knew I was your friend. friend. Right. It was that you were going to Newport. I see, and then the following year. And then, yeah, but then you got up there on a Thursday, and you walked into a room, and you know you could tell the story, but you walked into a room, and there were 30 people in wheelchairs. Never having experienced that. You so didn't know that's where you were going. I did not know that, and also having no experience with that. I, I, I kept my head up talking to the therapists about the theater, or about what we were doing. Because it was such, they were all young, right. they were all vital, and they were all in chairs, something I'd not been used to or seen. Right. And so I was talking to them like this, and I was trying to, I was uncomfortable. Sure. Very uncomfortable, and not knowing what to say, how to say. 
push comes to shove, I don't remember this at all, but obviously we did something in those Well, you had three days yes. to take her monologues and then turn it into events and exactly. parents and the families were coming. But I didn't call you? You called me at midnight. Okay, this is get the fuck up here. Yes, this is the story. Okay. This There's no the anything. Exactly. No one knows their monologues. Exactly. These are not actors. Yes. I thought I was coming up yes. to stage actors. Yes, this is the story. And everything is a mess and you know, nobody knows what they're doing. Exactly. And I said, Bernie can tell up here because I needed somebody on my side because even Harry and Susie, they didn't know what I was doing. And they just knew it was not working. And Maureen wasn't any help. No, yeah. not well. Because so she I, took the personal stories and started trying to make different So I called Bernie and said, get up here right away. And he came up and then and then we created magic, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we had like 48 hours. 48 too. hours and we like flashlights and lights and whatever we did, we threw it together. And you know, the muses were with us and all of a sudden we produced something that was unforgettable. And I remember that, right? And again, and then it became about the experience with Harry and Susie, where Harry was like, you can see what drama and what theater can, can do. Because right. Right. he wasn't as new. He was not empathetic or sympathetic to this idea in the first place. He wasn't. Not at all. He was like, well, what, 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 what is this about? What are we doing? What are we wishing? Who is it? Kind of my idea. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Exactly. Cool. exactly. And then this the next year, can we talk about the next year? Yeah, and then that's the thing. Well, well, then Harry understood what right. we there was such a thing as drama therapy and how theater can change lives. And since Shake Leg was all about changing lives and getting people who are injured to feel like their life is the same, right. but different, but different, right? rather than stopping. Right. That was his vision with the sailing program, with the Feldenkrais, with the movement. And we just sort of explained to him that, well, theater is the same as the sailing. Correct. And, and it's finding a voice in a lot yes, of Yes, and it's yeah. finding your own voice. And he completely was supportive and understood that. Yes. And then we said, we'll take it over from the beginning. Right. This was and an idea. Right. Our theater company was going to do this. This is right. something we decided. Right. Yeah, and so then you guys came up and you did a full play. Maureen wrote another play that next year. Yes. Which we co-directed. And we got <laughs> then you got the star. I didn't fall. I just said, oh, I don't remember reluctantly at all. Oh, I yes. remember somebody who was willing and enthusiastic. No way! Like, <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> all I remember is because I would go up a few days earlier to do the auditions because I was a cast. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, and uh, Susie Horgan said, I got one. I've been circling around, telling people you're coming up. I got one. He just got here. He's really handsome. I think he's the guy. Because they had read the play. Sure. And it will mirror his story. Yeah. Uh, but you're going to have to convince him because he has no interest. You know, and it was like... Which if I said no to Susie, how could I say yes to you? I know, I really know. That's true. true. And it's then got a remarkable be, conversation, doesn't it? <laughs> you I have, know, and then we did the audition. We've been telling you what you should do. <laughs> yes, exactly. You didn't say <laughs> convince me what you want to do. Yes, yeah, exactly. And he reminded me of that this morning. I was like, I oh, still do that. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> I miss <laughs> my life telling yeah, 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 yeah. No wonder Felix is who he is. Uh, <laughs> Felix is a <the> suck. <laughs> but I think we did the auditions and it was like, oh my god, we have a lead role right here. Right. Like there was no one who's gonna carry that. Right. You really got it. Like I remember walking into your room. It almost felt like a hospital room, but not, you know what I mean? Well, it was the you nunnery. Were... That place had been a nunnery before, right. yeah. so it was right. really ascetic where you had your bed and a desk and a Right. And it's the same. Right. Yeah. You were like six months, right? Injured, like it had not. been, yeah, so this is probably July or something like that. Yeah. So it was December. So yeah, seven July. months, right. six, seven months. And I think even months. for me, even though we were there the summer before, we were all under the tent. Like, I hadn't been in a room. Right. Because uh, you were not coming to the auditorium room where we were doing auditions. I don't think I had been in a room. Right. Chairs. You know, someone who's paralyzed or whatnot. And I remember sitting next to your bed and trying to convince you. Uh, the merits of acting and yeah, you know, you know what I mean, and how this could help, and, and you know, I mean, it was. And you know what? Because he, it's true. There's no question about it. How we, at least as theater people, coming back from having had that experience, it helped us. So okay. we know it helps you guys. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's a remarkable. Amazing. It was a remarkable experience. I mean, right. I, I can't tell you. We had no money. We right. just had our own, our own most <laughs> sweat up, right? Yeah, our go. own most muscles, <coughs> and, and a co true commitment to do this as best as we could. Because that's right. what I don't want to say drama therapy, but so much of acting, or at least in the shake leg situation, was about letting all of the participants have those feelings or where they are roles are going through. Because right at that moment, everyone is feeling 
halted or stopped. And yet, romance is going to be there, different or not, it's going to be there. Which is you know, a great so segue to the next question. <laughs> and I want to know if you guys were in on this before this happened. So during rehearsals, remember Jillian played my, my yeah. girlfriend. She had recently had a baby. Right. She had recently had her baby. Her husband and her newborn were there, and we were doing rehearsals in what was our dining room. Right. Yeah. 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 Moved everything in the cafeteria, right. moved everything apart. Right. 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 And we have it. And so the scene is that she comes into my hospital room, sort of sits on my lap, you know, gives me a kiss hello and all this stuff. And then the scene goes on. And, and I don't remember what happened in the scene. I just remember this part. And she came, she sat on my lap, baby, husband, over there in the corner. And all of a sudden, there's a tongue in my mouth. <laughs> and I and I pull you away. You are the looking guy. <laughs> it's perfectly normal. <laughs> I pull away, and, and you in your in your best sort of Jewish director accent, you know, why can't you act? You know, it's like, <laughs> and I'm, I, I I thought we were acting. There's a baby over there. <laughs> So, so had you guys, had you guys, had you guys thought of this beforehand? Was this something that was planned, or did she do it entirely on her own? Because uh, it was part of my initiation, which in some ways seemed like there was a hazing aspect to. Yeah, it was a little bit. bit. I mean, I, think I don't remember that, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I it's totally do. Yeah. Because I remember you, Chris, going into shock, and it's like, really? Yeah, I remember you know, it was like, beaten up by her husband. I was like, it was all of a sudden, whatever do. we can do to spark. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, right? Like lift into the yeah, play. Right. And, uh, uh, but, uh, Did it spark you or it just shock you? Oh, well, it shocked me initially, and then, you said, and then I thought I was going to lose the role. You're like, what? Oh, you can't act. You can't do this. I'm like, oh, I, I didn't realize that right. there's a baby there and all of this stuff. And so, yeah, but I, and I, I, was I, looked, I, wanted, I wanted in. I wanted, I wanted to do it. I'm like, well, if, if, I, have to, if I have to kiss her like that, I will. I mean, yeah, yeah. And obviously, Jillian, it, it certainly was not, it was not a difficult task. No, she was, <laughs> and oh, she was so she was, cute, yeah. Oh, she, she understood. Yeah. Not only is an actress and a professional, but... This was about giving you guys the experience and right. helping the intimacy. Because so much of that part was about the intimacy between the two of you. Believing that there was a connection. Right, and you're all talking it. about your feelings, being newly injured, trying to walk again. Yeah. And it was just, it was. The, I think that in a lot of ways, what you guys ended up doing is taking me from not knowing anything to being presentable in a really short period of time. Yeah, really how, how was the experience for you? I mean, because we, we, we know what we do and why we do it. How was it for you? Do you remember? It was probably probably one of the most empowering experiences that I've ever had. And, and I think part of it, like what I do now, I wouldn't have been doing that if I hadn't done acting. I wouldn't have been in front of audiences and present. I wouldn't have felt like I could. Right. And, and so there was that, but, it, but there was the unknown. And I think that was kind of the the jumping into the abyss, the committing to something, and and knowing that it's going to be okay, and knowing that you can find a line or you can find a find a purpose within what you're doing, and it was it was incredibly incredibly empowering. The first because I was petrified, of course, talking in front of five people, yeah, of, course. Right? of course, like just speaking in class, like, you know, yeah. everything's shaking and all this stuff, and the night. Everybody was coming into the auditorium at that middle school, at Middlesex uh, or Middle Middletown Middle School. Yeah, I was peeking behind the curtain to watch because it was like riding a roller coaster. I thought the more excited I, the more scared I am, the more exciting it's going to be. But it was also it replaced skiing. I didn't I didn't have any ski <coughs> races that previous winter, and it was taking all of what we'd done and sort of bringing it down to this one point and saying, okay, this is the jumping off. So it was, it was absolutely amazing in terms of in terms of the confidence that it gave me and the belief of what I could do. That said, during the presentation, you probably don't remember this, Bobby, so we had a dance scene in the middle I of, really. of the play. Yeah. So we were doing the dance scene and we had we had rehearsed our dance scene and everything, and so you were playing my alter ego where you'd get up and dance and and so effectively I'd get to <laughs> I'd get to walk again, you know, in, within this dream. And we were doing it, and we rehearsed it, and in the middle of it, you started to improvise. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Just perfect. 
<laughs> and I'm petrified. I'm there going, hold on, hold on. I'm trying so desperately not to screw up here, and now you're giving me the greatest opportunity. <laughs> I probably did that purposely because we were going to get a little tight. I'm sure, I'm sure you did exactly I remember, that. I remember your performance, though. I remember the last moment we played. I remember right. how, I did too. right? How, um, I you know, it's interesting you're sharing with me how petrified you were. I didn't get that at all. Uh -huh. I know. I, I really, I mean, right. that it's obviously an internal landscape we're talking about because sure. externally, you weren't necessarily enthusiastic, but you weren't at all. Yeah, so you never appeared nervous, nervous at right. all. Like, would you get and I don't know that I was races? Oh yeah, I mean, you get nervous, that. but there's sort of that the nervousness you going on yeah, inside, yeah, yeah. and that can you turn that into it's something something. that's going to be beneficial? Right. And I think that that's where I was with this. I think as a result right. of the work, right. yeah, yeah. The, that I did with you, I felt like I know this thing inside and, and out. Just, I know my lines. I know everybody else's lines. I know where everybody's supposed to be. Well, that's the athlete in you too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? You have to be so exactly. on your game. You were very. Uh, studied and prepared and all of that. It it. Even if then we had to mess you up. Yes. You know, I think for our goal it was like how do we mess Absolutely. you up a little bit? Oh yeah. You know, I mean rather than so planned and so exactly like and you did that. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. did we did scenes in gibberish. That's yeah. Like, when, yeah, yeah. when we were rehearsing. Yeah, just to break patterns. And, oh yeah. And, yeah. And I, you had like some sort of German accent kind of <laughs> I sounded like somebody who was deaf, like trying to speak. I couldn't come up with anything. It's, but you know, this is the thing. It's like this is so what's so wonderful about this relationship then and now is that the the aspect of like create like blood race and messing things up to discover a deeper voice. Right. Which is what we were working on through dance through play, through the character, through Bob and Bernie, do you know what I mean? Right. And through, through the Shaker whole Lake, program exactly, with Shaker exactly. Well, that's yeah. what is so great about the program with Shaker Lake and what Harry created, because it really, yes, there was the fundamentals, you know, learning physical therapy and learning, but then there was really about expanding. Right, right. Your mind. Your mind exactly. and your body, no matter how and your possibilities you and the possibilities. Right. Where you might, how you might look at yourself, because right. I think, well, I'm in a wheelchair. I shouldn't be on a stage. Why should I act? And, right. and yes. in some ways, that, that's exactly what it was all about, right? It's like, well, maybe you should act. And, right. and in some ways, you think of it, well, it was sort of like a fifth grade play for, for people in wheelchairs, but then it was so professional. You know, if, if I try to describe it to people, that's sort of what they think is, oh, well, this was sort of this so like theater. summer camp, yeah, yeah, little right. theater. Yeah. I was like, no, it was it was a lot. Well, that was our goal, right? right. Like bringing up every year in the program, growing and bringing more people up from MCC in the city. It was about making it as professional because you are all twenty year olds right. who have to not necessarily go into acting, right? But have to enter the workplace and the life place and get past, you know, the incident, the right. Right. right? And right. some of that is your acting. Right. So you know, some of that is like I'm going to a, I'm going to an interview. I'm I am acting. Yeah. This is what right. I'm doing. Right. right. I'm gonna feel right. okay. What's my what's my purpose? Thing. What am I? Yeah. I think Harry's whole vision was the can do. Right. You just do things differently. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And and, and, and that, he challenged us too. He said we were saying, well, how about this? He said, sure. Go ahead. So yeah. well, here, right. Or now I want to play with yeah. not just one lead. I want, I want more leads. Yeah. So then we go right. Okay. Well, four. Okay. So we'll write a story about. Four two couples and we'll do a take off on Midsummer Night's Dream. Right. And, right. and then remember, I'll never forget this moment, it's one of the most treasured memories I have. In Midsummer Night's Dream that, e that, that, that evening that we had a rainstorm, remember? And we had to stop the performance or something and we went up in the cafeteria and we watched the rest of the show on flashlights. Well, we did the rest of the show with flashlights in the audience. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, wow. That, that was, was like a phenomenal yeah. moment wow. where the, the entire happen? audience and the entire right. cast, we, it was a rainstorm, we, we had we went inside the cafeteria and then we lived with five, with uh, flashlights. Yeah, and that that was... Which is the can-do thing. Oh, so what, it's ready. We're going to go on to do the show. And the can-do and the unknown, and I think that that's exactly right. that you made us comfortable with the unknown, which you did to me the night before I think we put up the play. So we did, we did effectively a contest. I, because, because your friend had written the play, I think as the lead, I had half of the lines in the play. Sure. And so what you guys did is you put me on one side of our dining room. Oh yes. And everybody else on the other side, and it was a competition to see who could be more convincing. Right. And it was back and forth. And I think, I think he still owed me an ice cream as a result of this. I think he did. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Cause I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but your friend who wrote the play hadn't, 
finish the play. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's right. That's true. <laughs> Sounds about right. Mrs. idea of we'll finish the play <laughs> through a game. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and so we thought, okay, well, we're all tied, and that's it, and we're going to go home. And, and you said, okay, you turned to me and said, we'll finish the play. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Well, this is this is embracing, which for me, so much of acting in general and so much of Shake Leg was this idea of, of saying yes to things. Yes. You know, just, yes. just saying yes because when you're paralyzed, you don't know where, you know, nobody has any yeah, answers for you. Say yes, right? So you're just kind of like, okay, I'll say yes to anything because something sure. might have the right answer. Sure. And so I said, okay, I said yes and I finished it and I, and I ended up winning. Right. Of course. Partially because Annie was the judge. Of course. You know? Well, <laughs> but. <laughs> But but uh, but I won and 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 said okay well that's great and then you said to me okay well that's the end of the play and I said well, well what did I say I don't sure. remember what I said you were in the moment you were in the uh, was, situation yeah and so did then, you remember <laughs> no I think, I think you said you said well you'll be fine just just do what you did tonight for tomorrow <laughs> okay and, and so not only am I doing that but you don't know where that's going well my straight leg braces had arrived yes. And so the big thing was I needed to stand up. I yeah. wanted to walk. Yeah. And similar to Harry, where I thought, okay, 50% of my time will be will be standing up. 50% of my time will be in a chair. But I wasn't very good right. at standing up. Right. Well, because you weren't not you weren't ready yet. Oh, no, right, right. Because right. you had just started all that physical yeah, therapy. Yeah. Right. We have a play that was almost racing you. Right. Right. Because the play was a little ahead of your situation. It was a little yeah. ahead of the situation. Yeah, so what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to stand up. Right. So, right. so straighten the legs, right. stand up, and the big, the hardest part is awesome. is getting from the chair sure. up because you kind of do this dip yes. and try to maintain balance. So, so one, I had to do that. Right. I remember that. And then I had to deliver this monologue. Right. Right. Well, right. well, right. doing that. Well, yeah, doing that. Yeah. So I'm doing the monologue and, and going and. and going, Okay, well, I don't know how to do this, and I don't know how to do that. I so, that. Okay, here we go. Right? Yeah, exactly. I remember that. I do. No, but now you do it. So, you know what I mean? But then you didn't have the upper strength that you have now. The strength and the balance and, and the all balance. that stuff. And well, I remember you did it. I did it. Oh, you I did, did it. Why did you do it? We all. Exactly. We all. Well, this was in real time. <laughs> yes, it was. It was. Yes. Something really could go wrong. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Like really doing this for the first time. I remember like every day going, are the braces here yet? Yeah, that's okay, true. that's not my department. The braces come and it makes it happen, right? Exactly. You know, you're exactly. It's like, what do I know? Yeah, right. You know, and I think that was probably a little panicky for you of like, because you you're doing physical therapy, which we're not part of, and you know no, 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 part no. that is. Yes. No, 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 we're not. And it's like, no, no, you have to do it. The play says you have to do yes. it. <laughs> it's all about the character. I don't yes. care if you're not ready. Just exactly. do it. Because that's what we're used to saying to an actor. Yeah. You're not ready. Do it anyway. Yes, exactly. Oh, right. Really? So, so, so this is part of the deal for well, you guys. Yeah, because and they when I'm asking them to do something physically that they maybe can't do. It's just it's on their mind. We're just saying, do it. Yeah, overcome your fears and do it. But the fact of the matter is, we had no awareness of what the complication of doing it meant to you. Right. The, no. No. It's easy enough on the direction yeah, side. Of it. No, right. Go ahead, do it. This yeah, but we didn't straight like a race. It was a big deal. Put them on and get them. Yeah, right. It's like not a clue. That nah, was right. But I remember that moment. The two of us were like, I was like, <sighs> what? Oh my God. We were like, and because you, it, it was a struggle. Which is exactly what it should have been. Which is exactly what it should have been. Exactly. And, and what you're hoping for in the whole play, right? Is the, is and the I think probably struggle. for you, hiding isn't the right word, but like, as hard as it was, or I don't want to say embarrassing to having to do it in public, you were able to hide behind, well, it's the character doing it. You, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I remember having lots of dialogue about that. It's like, well, the character is doing that, even if Chris wouldn't do that, or doesn't want to do that. But also, yeah, I saw, I saw, use that. I saw resolve. I mean, with all due respect to the complications of the limitations, there was a, there's a, there, despite all that you just said about you and what else, I'm sure there was, a, there's the athlete there. There was a resolve behind all of that, which gave me confidence that, that in fact, you may fall down. Oh, excuse me. You actually may fall down. Sure. Which is fine with us. <laughs> but, yeah, fine with you. you know, fine. Fine. Makes for a good place. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. Drama, drama, drama. Yeah, yeah. Right. You might fall down. But in you fact, have done that. right? Exactly. <laughs> but in fact, there's that character will and resolve that I saw in you, which is why you got the lead, and which is why you worked as hard as you did, and why you accomplished as much as you did. Right. There is that athletic training. There is that resolve in you to facilitate the goal, as however, whatever, whenever, etc. And you did that. Right. And I'll tell you, I'm, it's a moment that's seared in my memory. And yeah. I, that, that that moment of the play, which is what the whole play led to, 
Right. If you remember, oh, yes. the whole play led to was a was a struggle and a magnificent accomplishment, yeah. an emotional tearjerker, heart rendering for us out here, oh, yeah. and a magnificent accomplishment. Well, that was the first time my parents had seen me stand as well. Yeah, in I heard seven a lot months. Of They're in the audience, and so so there's that, and I think that for me was was one. It the standing allowed me to focus in some ways on a physical level. Sure. And in some ways that was easier. <laughs> sure. Because this yeah. brought me into the acting brought me into a, well, this is sort of that like feelings kind of yeah, thing. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Emotional yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 And I think that's what I said to you. You said you said you need to audition for this. And I said, I don't really do that stuff. I'm an I'm an athlete. You know. So this gave me the physical direction exactly. there, but it was still it was still that emotional connection which was entirely intoxicating. Sure. It really was sure. just that communion with the audience. Sure. And it's a middle school auditorium, but there were a fair number of people. Oh, there. please. Oh, it's a real audience. There yeah, were a few people. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah. And it wasn't yeah. just an empathetic, sympathetic audience. I mean, there was, there were sitting on their hands. They were going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, you earned that you earned the audience's applause and praise, without a doubt. It was, it was really, yeah, I think in some ways, and it's, I, it's something that, I look back on and think, I'm trying to achieve that moment again. Sure. Yeah. I, I imagine, yeah. I mean, you guys have yeah. both been on stage and, and in front of the camera, and I, I imagine in some ways you remember that moment that was probably the most perfect moment. I don't know, I haven't had one of those. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I think for you, knowing you over the course as we've been in touch, I feel like that moment has stayed with you. Absolutely. Whether then you went to become a professional athlete again, or to all the work that you've done feels like that experience, whether it was can-do or challenge, has certainly been part of you. Yeah. I feel like you're always yeah. talking about it. I, I am, and in some ways I think right. that, you know, which is probably probably part of the thing of being the directors in the play, is trying to re remind people that they've had that moment. Yeah. Because I think for me that was that's part of it, is that the, the strongest I've ever been in my life was immediately after the accident. Sure. And, and really through Shake Leg. So really for that first two years kind of thing. And it was this sense of, of optimism and the sense of like, okay. I'm going in a direction and there are gonna be diversions along the way, but I'm gonna keep going. You know, it's kind of like this idea of improv sure. as a life. And, and as we get more secure sometimes, it gets more challenging. Because, Harder to do. Because we're not as fluid. Sure. Or we think, oh, but I wanna keep yeah. that. Yeah. And this was, well, I'm just going. Yeah. And I'm just moving, and that was the moment for me in looking back, and, and, and it's it's a moment that I look back on and say, that was something that I did and something that, that changed me and changed my view of myself to find that power, to find, yeah. okay, you don't know what you're talking about, Tell, you know, but give it anyway. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Right, 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 just I, I, to know I'm going to open my mouth and something's going to come out and it's going to make sense to have that that's really scary. And then you do it and you think, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, 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 the right. yes, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly the feeling you have, right? Exactly. Skiing or are they, you know, just different, it you know, is. but it's the same challenge. Yeah. yeah. Overcoming the fear and overcoming. I, I have a question. Yes. I want to know what Bernie told you that convinced you to audition. You know, I, I, it, it, that's a good question. And I think it's something. The general. <laughs> We have to. I think I think he literally just came to well just just come and read you know just come and read you don't even have to do anything you can say no if you want but just come and read and and I think there was this sense for me of, of just saying yes to things and I was like all right well I've said yes to everything else and you had in the in the audition you had a bunch of characters that were all written uh, you know all like like little monologues in that right. in that thing I, I forget there was there was one who was like an alcoholic there was one who was who was a pilot, there was one, you know, and so the audition, the initial audition was just, let's just read these things, you know, read these characters and see which one. And I, was, I remember kind of reading it and going, oh, okay, you know, it'd be kind of fun to play an alcoholic or something, right, right, that'd right. be kind of cool, like it, right. I could do that and I think that would be fun. And, and, and then I left and didn't really think anything of it and I went to a Feldenkrais class. So with Laura French, so I was up there on the third floor. Right. And I was doing this, and in the middle, you came and knocked on the door and said, well, well, we'd like you to come back and read again. 
hmm, well, I'm in the middle of a session right now, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back on the train. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're back to New York. I've done my two days. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> so I came back and read, and I thought I'd be read with, with Jillian yeah. at that point, and read off and on. And at this point, then I was really hooked, because then, then it's like, oh, well, you want me to be the lead. Yeah. And I think it kind of enticed you, you're like, well, we might want you to read for the lead. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that was all, the annoying thing is the minute I walked into the room with Susie, it was like, that was the plan, and right. that was the goal from the beginning. Yeah, it's right, like, right. he's handsome, he's charismatic, right, right, and right. like, this will be a perfect parallel to the story. Right. But then you have to do all this dancing. <laughs> Let me just convince, just show up and read that one line. Right, one line. Exactly. Then you get them enticed, like right. I just yeah, said. You get them, you get them hooked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I could be the lead. Yeah. I could be the star. I think we might have even told Laura French, when I walk out of the room, just encourage him. You know, I think it was a whole <laughs> plan. It's so exhausting. That's funny. Well, you still you know, now at least that. you said, I'm still doing it. <laughs> at least now you say yes faster. Exactly. <laughs> I, I think what I have to do is I, I just have to say thank you so much for for giving me the opportunity to scare myself, to try to jump into that abyss, and, and to come out. I think it really was, I think acting in so many ways with everything that I've done in my life has been a, one of the greatest educations that I've ever had. That sense of not knowing and being able to commit to it. And you know, being a ski racer, the hardest thing and being an actor, I think that's the, the same thing. It's a sense thing. of letting go and being yourself and finding that power and letting it happen. So the hardest thing. It really is. So I thank you guys so much for for, for, for yeah. all of the gifts that you gave me. And, and, all and the, the gifts that you gave us. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's something to be said, like I said before, about the joy of life yeah. and the heartfelt accomplishment that comes from the acceptance of that joy of life with all of our imperfections <laughs> and all of our insecurities that, uh, that, that at least in the theater, at least in our experience together, what we were able to create together, we, we experienced that. We experienced what that accomplishment can mean and what the joy of life is in that moment that I saw the care for. We're still doing it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. We believe that. Yeah. And we're still better for it. Yes. Better for it. I'm better for that experience that we all had to go through. And, here's, and the other thing is, it did it the same thing to us. Here they yeah. come, the, the pros, and we've been around. Yeah, we we're walking in like this. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like, like, actually, we're not so. <laughs> exactly. Because it was the shaky leg exactly. and working with you guys that really. Yeah, exactly. Now I can say I'm this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's some of the best things that we've ever done as shaky leg to, we together. Say it all the time. I do, because. It, it's it because as I said to you before, we come in as the pros. We're sure. not, you know, and all of a sudden, what happened to us spiritually? Yeah. What happened to us watching you overcome and at the same time deliver? Mm -hmm. Watching you open your eyes and your heart and the kind of response that came from the audience in terms of the what we all want in the theaters that relationship to the audience that happened so naturally and organically. 